Hi, Frankie here, and this time I'm going to show you the program uh, Virtual Dub. This is a video processing program. And first of all, I'm going to open up a video file. Let's select a dance pad number one. Okay, so here you see the, um, the, the, the screen shows you two windows. The left window is the input movie, input video, and, a, and the second one on the right shows the output of the video. So if you do any changes to the original video, the original video is shown on the left and the change effects, affected change is shown on the right video. So here you can have a comparison of the before and after effect of your changes. Okay, what can we do uh, with this program? Well, right at the bottom here we've got the slider and if I can move the slider you can see that the movie plays on both the panes. I can I can press play. If I press play on the play button that has the eye there, it plays the first button. It, it plays the first video. That's the input video. If I click on the video that has the play button is, that has got the O there, meaning output, it plays both the uh, plays both the videos, input output input and output videos. So I can go back to the start of the video. I can go to the end of the video. I can um, slowly um, reverse or I can go forward, step forward. So that's step forward and backward. Okay. Um, what I can also do is I can select a start and an end frame and uh, the highlighted section that's that, that's over there that you can see there uh, I can process that. By processing it what I mean is I can cut it, I can copy it, I can paste it, I can delete it Okay, if I were to delete it, well, it's gone. Okay, and uh, well, I can't paste it. I can't paste it because I've already deleted it. So if I want to cut this part, I can uh, first of all select the start and then select the end. Okay, and now I can cut that and I can move to the front and paste it in. So this is a real mess. Okay, so basically you can do cut and paste and uh, let's select another section here and I can I can just select uh, a section alright and this white section there so there's a certain, certain part of the video where I can just save the segmented AVI so that part that I selected will be saved as a, a very small AVI so let's call it portion and there you go just a few seconds of video and uh, let's try that out hmm, portion okay now you notice the size is really huge it's 93 megabytes it's really huge super huge okay so let me go back to virtual dub and this time I'm going to set my compression I have to uh, select the codec, let's go for XPID and again I'm going to redo that, save segmented AVI this time I'm going to overwrite the segment yes uh, yes and look at the size, it's much smaller this time ok, it's only about 1 meg let's try that out oh here you go this is the new segment Okay, it's only one meg compared to 93 megabytes. Okay, so what else can we do? We can also we can also extract the wave file, either of the entire video or a segment of the video. So in this case, I've got um, a segment there selected. So I'm going to save wave and uh, just create a wave folder, and I'm going to save it. It's done. Let's have a look at that. Here you go. Here's the wave folder. Very small file, which proves that the um, only the segment, the wave, the, the the sound from the segment has been saved. Okay, so I'm playing it. It's a very short section there. Okay, and so um, there are a lot more things you can do with this uh, tool here, actually. Let me just go back to start. I've clicked the um, end of frame. 
what do you call that? The, the uh, selection of the end of frame, so the sec section is gone. Now I can just go to uh, filters. Uh, filters is the fun part because here you can click add and uh, select all types of filters. You can uh, make the video more blur. You can change the brightness. For example, let's give it a try. I'm going to select this one, brightness contrast. And uh, there's a little preview here. I can change the brightness. Okay, so basically I'm um, making changes to the video. Contrast, low contrast, no change. No change. Okay, what else can I do? I can also add in a. Um, let's say a rotate. Okay, so I can rotate the whole video by 90 degrees left or around. So let's try it. Rotate image right. Click OK. There you go. So here's the input, and that's the output video. Okay, so let me just move that there, and there you go. Clear selection. Okay, so I rotated the video. So there's all kinds of effects that you can choose just by going to filters. Remove that and let's add another filter. Mm, we can go for, let's see now. Okay, there's also zoom. Y y if you try any one of these, I'm sure that uh, you'll get the idea. We have a grayscale. Okay, so that's a grayscale there. What else can we do? Let's put in another filter. Remove that. Remove that. Let's add in another one. Uh, chroma. Okay, there's one way you can actually change the color. I can't remember. I think it's colorize. Yep, that's good. So I can show a preview. So now I've uh, I've made the uh, video in a certain hue. I can change that hue. Okay, and just click OK, and there you go. See that? I change the hue of the change the hue of the video. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of stuff here, which is uh, quite advanced. Smart rendering, of course, makes the uh, output small in size because only parts of the video that change will be rendered. You also have audio. You can also select uh, full processing mode and change your audio compressions. You can choose the audio codec if you want to. Okay, so the main reason why I use this program is because I can do filtering, meaning to say I can have uh, all the special effects that I want to, to do on it. And uh, this is basically uh, me processing the video. I can do cut and paste to my heart's delight. So what that means is that I can I can extract certain parts of the video and I can delete certain parts of the video which I don't want to. Okay, so I guess uh, this, that covers quite a bit. You you can have a try with this video, with this uh, with virtual dub, have fun with it. Thanks a lot. Bye.